GDAX, Coinbase Pro, GDAX, Coinbase Pro. If you squint, you can see the difference. Let's take a look at the new Coinbase exchange, Coinbase Pro. Coinbase is a financial services company that specializes in digital currency. Coinbase offers a wide range of services that are continually expanding at the moment. The primary service that most users are familiar with is the ability to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Currently, there are two main ways to do this, either through the Coinbase service or through the GDAX service. Coinbase, while having higher fees, is easy for new users to purchase cryptocurrency, while GDAX is a more sophisticated platform that provides traders access to real-time order books and advanced order types. If you're already a user of GDAX and you're just looking to see what the differences are between GDAX and Coinbase Pro, go ahead and jump here in this video. If you yourself are new to trading and you want to learn more about order books and advanced order types, there's a playlist on the Deep Lizard channel that will teach you everything you need to know to begin trading. I highly recommend you check it out. GDAX is known as Coinbase's Global Digital Asset Exchange. Now, GDAX GDAX is being rebranded and will now be called Coinbase Pro. From a brand standpoint, this makes a lot of sense. The Coinbase brand is becoming very well known and it just makes sense to get rid of the GDAX brand. Having a second brand often confuse users. I see that makes sense. The name also makes a lot of sense. Coinbase Pro is what it says it is. It's for the pros, or at least traders that understand order books and advanced order types. Coinbase Pro is comparable to your typical online stockbroker like TD Ameritrade or Interactive Brokers. For that, I give Coinbase a 10 for the name change from GDAX to Coinbase Pro. Now, anytime there's a rebranding like this, it's a perfect time for a UI redesign. Yes, yes it is. This is exactly what Coinbase Pro is giving us. So let's have a look at the new UI. If you're currently a user of GDAX, you'll notice that Coinbase is pushing us to move to the new product with this Try Coinbase Pro button at the top. At the moment, the new Coinbase Pro UI has the same basic structure that we're used to with the old GDAX UI. We have the order form, the order book, the price chart, open orders, and the trade history. For all of these sections, the functionality and the displayed information appears to be mostly the same. If you're looking to learn more about any of these sections, be sure to check out videos like these on the Deep Lizard channel. These are just a few, there are many, many more. That's the similarities. Now let me show you the differences. The first couple of things I wanna show you are pretty minor, but these jumped out to me right away. The balances are now broken out into their own section called wallet balance. This used to be included in the order form section, which admittedly was a little confusing. So breaking this out, I think was a good idea. Now down in the open order section, they're now forcing the tab functionality for the orders based on whether it's an open order or a filled order. This used to only happen if your screen was smaller and now we get that by default on all screen sizes. Now for the chart. In the announcement of Coinbase Pro, Coinbase told us that the charts are improved. Okay, looking at the chart, we can't really see much of a difference. So I'm thinking that that's likely just corporate speak. The only difference that I was able to find is that it now allows us to zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. I've gotta give it to Coinbase, this is an improvement. However, this feature just meets what we would probably expect. Zooming pretty much comes standard with most charts. Since we can zoom out, we are able to see more data than we could before. The biggest improvements that I found were these tabs up here on the right, my orders and my wallets, especially the my orders tab. Let's take a look. My orders breaks down the orders between fills and open. The open tab is the big deal here. This tab appears to show us all the open orders across all the accounts. This was something that I know a lot of users complained about. So that's a good upgrade. If we have multiple orders across different cryptocurrencies, we can see them all 
all here. This is also the case on the wallets tab. We get a more aggregated view across all wallets and they've added a few more useful metrics like the holdings percent column. This gives us a view across all of our wallets and it even breaks down the percentage so we can know how much of our value is allocated to each asset. Now to get back to the trading interface, we have this trade tab at the top. Something interesting about this tab is that Coinbase also just acquired Paradex, which is an ERC-20 relayer built on top of the ZRX protocol. A relayer is just another word that basically means exchange. Relayers create decentralized exchanges that allow us to trade trustlessly using our own wallets. This essentially means that we can keep possession of our private keys opposed to trusting Coinbase to hold them for us. Once Coinbase rolls out the decentralized exchange, we may see another tab for that here. According to Coinbase, GDAX and Coinbase Pro will run side by side until June 29th, 2018. At that point, GDAX will be gone and Coinbase Pro will take over. In the Coinbase release, they said that after June 29th, all customers will be seamlessly rolled over to Coinbase Pro. For the decentralized exchange Paradex, Coinbase is currently integrating Paradex, and they've said that they're gonna roll out first globally and then later to US citizens. There's probably gonna be some work that they have to do on the know your customer laws in the US, which is going to delay that rollout. Keep an eye out for it. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the new Coinbase Pro user interface or if you like the old GDAX one better. Even though they're pretty similar, I think the Coinbase Pro UI looks a little slicker. Let me know what you think. If you wanna learn more about trading, specifically about order books and advanced order types, be sure to check out the crypto trading playlist on the Deep Lizard channel. The videos in that list all use the GDAX user interface, but all of the information presented there applies no matter which exchange you're trading on. So check that out and let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one uh, do feel free to stick around